Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Sable. I, just at the start of the episode here, decided I was going to come and see the Queen of the Chums. See if we had enough to hand in here. I'm not entirely sure. Let's deliver the eggs. I'll come back, Sable. The Queen wriggles as she greets me silently. You've brought more of my children home. This is a true kindness, as chums are not often on the receiving end of such thoughtfulness. Your dedication to us is truly a boon. Although my face is covered, I am sure the Queen can feel my immense smile. What a genuine smile you have. Oh stop, I'm getting emotional again. It's a good thing I am farming Chum Tears. Oh, I just noticed there is loads of them off to the side. Yeah, another tear. <laughs> off to the right there, there's loads of them. That stamina has increased. The Queen coos at her brood. They do seem happier here, though I'm not sure how I can tell. I feel even stronger now, with another of the Queen's tears. Another 20, please. I, I don't suppose I have 20. Somehow I doubt Somehow I doubt it, but you never know. I can't remember where you actually see how many chum eggs we have. Hmm, let's just try speaking to her again. This is the quick way. Uh, no, I do not. Okay, so we need to find another 20. Good lord, that's so many. But having an extra expansion and a half definitely makes this easier for us. I'm not sure where we're heading next. Let's have a quick look at the map after we leave this area. Should be something we can find. Maybe a spaceship or something? Maybe we can go to a place we haven't been. Oh, I was also told to go to the whale. Is this the whale? The whale. Every time we talk to Saren, he tells us to go to the whale to increase our security clearance. Let's go to the whale and have a look. Yeah, it's the giant red crashed spaceship that I haven't explored. Maybe this was the original, or like the the mothership, maybe? The, the head? Get on the bike. I'm here, Simone. If we can find a way in. I don't see an obvious way in. Then that's never meant much, has it? Oh, here we go. Blimey. Oh heavens, uh, there's a red cable, should I follow that? Let's follow the red cable. Okay, get off the, get off of Simoon here. Oh, we can sprint for longer as well, can't we? You know, turning on things on without knowing what they do is probably not the smartest move I've ever had. On the other hand, Let's follow it and see what it did. <laughs> There's a chum up there. Guessing we can't climb on the ship itself, otherwise that would be far too easy. Let's find out. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. Apparently we can. We can also get inside the ship here, apparently. Chum egg. We're at 41. We need to get to 60, I guess. What's in here? Oh, no. Stay crouched. <laughs> Is this just another way up? Did I just cheat? Oh, I think I just cheated. Oh, I did. Well, you know. Oh, it's timed. Bugger, whatever it is, it's timed. I believe might be the gate. 
Okay, let's try this again. And hope there's a button to open it on the other side, otherwise we're going to get trapped. Are we getting these pipes? Hello. They looked suspicious, you see. What's in here? Is it another chum? I will happily accept another chum. No, it's a way down. It is another chum. Hello. A chum and a chest. Perfect. The only thing that could have made it better is large volumes of money. 20 cuts is not half bad, though. It's this thing. Some form of generator, maybe. Climb on back up here. At least they were kind enough to give me a ladder, otherwise this would have been a real pain in the bum. There's got to be other stuff around here, because it looks like we can climb up as well. Up into the rafters. It looks like a manufacturing plant of some description. God knows what it was making. Let's let's flip this switch. See what's behind the big door. I don't know how long we have. Yep, it's definitely open. Ah, that long apparently. Okay, that's going to be tough. That is going to be very tough. I don't think my bike is quick enough. I lost a lot of time trying to get to my bike, so maybe if we push it... It could be that we need a faster bike. Whoop, wrong button. Let's put it so it's facing the right direction. Whoop. Oh no, I wasted time trying to get on it. Go, go, go! As fast as we can, Sable. Go, 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 We made it. I don't know what we've achieved, but we made it. Oh, there's another chum over there. That's a step in the right direction. Hello, chum. I love saying that every time. It will never get old. What else have we got? There's a button up there. I'm guessing the button opens the door. A ladder here. Can we climb this ladder? It looks like it's a blocked ladder. Oh no, we can climb it. What is this place? What did it do? Oh, scrap. Hmm, my cape is stuck in myself. This is the one reason I don't like capes in this game. There we go. Spin around. Fix the physics. Oh, there's a chest over here. I mean, I will accept treasure being the reason we did this, but one piece of scrap and a chum? It's not the biggest haul I've ever had, let's put it that way. I'm guessing this button going to open the door again? Well, if not, we're stuck. There we go. It's fully open. Fully open-ish. I mean... Yeah, okay, so it opens and it closes again. Wonderful. So before we do that, let's 100% let's make sure we're not messing anything. I don't think we are. I think we're done in here. Oh, is it just going to bounce up and down? Sweet. Either that, or it opens every time I look away, which would be a very fun little bug. Oh no, it does. It it does. It bounces. Wow. Okay, well, that obviously wasn't what we were here for. 
there's whatever's out that way. That kind of just feels like the butt end of the ship. So... I'm guessing we have to go up. Gotta be a command bridge or something around here somewhere. That's what our security clearances would be for, right? Let's go climbing. When in doubt, climb up. That's not moving. Ooh, big box of scrap, let's go. one's moving so we can jump to that one which will let us jump to another one but where is the goal where is the end oh they're all moving where does that get me maybe higher up maybe it lets us climb up onto this top area maybe that's where we're trying to get to but before we do that hey look there's a door here and another box of scrap wonderful What is through the door? Maybe this is the bridge I'm looking for. Oh, hello. There's a bike in there. Is this what we unlock? With the security codes? And we found three out of six? Hello, scrap. We get a space suit? Oh my god, do we get a space suit? A space suit and a space bike? <laughs> Can I speak to Saren here? Can you fill me in on what's going on? I encounter a strange, luminous figure. It greets me before I even have a chance to be frightened. New user found. Hello. Please enter your new username. I find myself whispering my own name. It suddenly feels odd in my mouth. Like this is the first time I've ever said it aloud. Welcome, Sable. I've set up a new account for you. I ask the mysterious figure about themselves. I am this ship's anthropomorphic registry and informational nexus. But you can call me Saren. Oh, that's what that stands for. Simulated Anthropomorphic Registry and Informational Nexus. I ask Saren what they're doing here. I'm not entirely sure, Sable. Most of my data modules appear to be corrupted. I am attempting access ship records. Saren goes still for a moment. Transferring ship's log to your inbox. Thank you for your help recovering my data modules. I've updated your security clearance, Sable. Granting first level access. Hello. I thank Saren profusely. I hope they understand. I say farewell to Saren. Uh. Excuse me. Apparently we've unlocked a door number one. Oh. Whale ship mask? The visor of this mask gives clarity and visibility. I'm not used to with other masks. The air tastes cleaner while I'll stay wear it. Whale ship trousers? So lightweight and form-fitting that it doesn't feel much more than an extra layer of skin. Whatever it is made of is unclear to me. And the whale ship top? Made from an unrecognisable material. Wearing it seems to keep me at a consistent a consistently comfortable temperature. Well, we've got to wear it, haven't we? We've just unlocked it, so that's how it works. Whale, whale, whale. I'll admit, it doesn't look quite as cool when I'm actually wearing it, but you know, we, we just got it, so I'm 
I'll, I'll wear it for a bit. That's that's how we roll. I kind of want the bike. I assume to get the bike, we need all six. There's a chum over here. I guess if we found three out of six of the ships, that must mean we are roughly halfway through the game, I'd assume. I am probably playing it slower than the average player. I tend to. I tend to pay attention to all the stuff that doesn't matter. It's a, it's an occupational hazard. I noticed a big box of scrap over here, though. Thank you very much. Did I, when I jumped, did it sound like I was inside of the mask? I swear, I swear it's muffled my, uh, the sound of my character. Okay, how do we get in here? Aaron, was it up there? Oh, it was up there, goddammit. <laughs> I did not need to jump down. So, do I explore the rest of this place? Of course we do. But, I'm gonna have to try and work out where the other ships are. Because I am definitely interested in finding the other three security clearance. Yeah, I think getting up there is a good idea. I'm guessing that's what that's all about. This stuff over here, maybe? I don't know, now I'm looking at it, not so much. It doesn't even go anywhere near that side of the ship. I don't know, let's just mess around with it, see if we can work it out. Stand on top. Go up. No, it does not. That one's higher. Maybe we could use that one to jump over. Oh, we're going back. I don't see an obvious point to cross over, though. Whoa. that one? Glide over from that one? Um, help. I appear to be in something that I'm not supposed to be. Okay. Oh, that was closer than I had planned. <laughs> that was deeply upsetting. I thought I was going to die then. As soon as we clear this on the way back, I'm going to climb up to the top. And from here, we should be able to glide over. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. There is a control panel over here that I am going to press just because I want to know what it does. Right, it activates that and it goes up and down. Oh, that's a shortcut. Wonderful. A ladder goes even higher? What is this ring thing over here? That's the technical term. Ring thing. Hmm. Doesn't look like anything of consequence, but there is, in fact, a door over here. Is this going to lead me to the same room again? No, it's not. It's a greenhouse. Gotta be honest, not what I was expecting. This place looks pretty damn cool. Kind of wish that it, the sun was up though. It's 2300, so it's 11 o'clock at night. I'd like to see this place when the sun comes up. There was some loot in here, but nothing too substantial. Ah, we can go up more layers. It's got to be a chum in here somewhere, surely. Oh, there's a big old box of scrap. I'll take it. Apologies, my cat decided he wanted to come in. I'm starting to think he senses whenever I'm recording something. Have a look around all these levels. It's like we 
got everything on this floor. All right, let's go up to the next floor. I don't know what I'm expecting to find here. I guess we thought we were fighting scrap, which is good. Pretty consistent way of making money. Oh, look, another box. There's a chum in the grass over there. Hey. Hey, well, let me open that. I feel cheated. I'll try it on the way back. 44. Another piece of scrap. Huh. Why won't this open for me? I guess I'll just have to not have it. Isn't that slightly upsetting? Alright, um, now we continue up. What is on the next floor? This is a very big ship, good lord. Imagine working on something like this? Very open though. I'm assuming it was a ship. It may have just been like a warehouse, maybe, or a place where they made ships. I don't know. Called the whale, so you'd think it would move around. Plus, this is a desolate planet. Like, are we supposed to assume that the people we are are descended from the these crashed ships? Or did we live here first? Don't know. We still haven't worked out what the the uh, signs are either. The the uh, those blue rings in the distance. We haven't got all of them yet. There's a bloody red door over there. I sure hope we can open it if I climb all the way up. Otherwise, it's going to be a very long, wasted climb. Keep my eyes open for scrap and stuff. I don't see any. Keep going up. Admittedly. Getting back down again, that shouldn't take very long. It's just the getting up that's the problem. If this is a locked door and we can't open it, I wonder what does. Maybe getting full security clearance would unlock it. If it doesn't open now. Also a break in the fence here, which makes me think maybe we could jump? To what effect, I don't know, but worth a look. Yeah, see, I can loot this one. I don't know what was in it. There's nothing popped up. This door is locked and barred. Okay, maybe that's, I don't know, DLC or something. I feel like those boxes aren't going to mysteriously move. Ah, atomic core die. Okay, well I think I'm pretty happy that I've seen everything I can in this area. So, we need to find more ships. Let's have a quick look at the map. To see if we can see any more on the map. But I think they're going to be in areas we haven't been to yet. But there's only two areas, then there could be two ships in one area, so... I kind of assumed there was going to be one per area, but... I have no evidence to support that theory. Uh, da -da -da -da, what do we have? I don't see anything that obviously sticks out. Maybe that rock. <laughs> Maybe a ship, but somehow I doubt it. Yeah, it's going to be in these two areas, isn't it? I guess, so maybe in the next episode we're going to have to go and uh, explore these areas here. Yeah, Saren granted me access to a strange set of clothes from a chamber in the whale. Ancient race, that's what we're doing. Yeah, those are the rings. Treasure scrappers. Okay, so I have no quests to do. I have no active quests to do. So I've either missed some in the areas I've already been, which is plausible. 
Or we just have to go to these areas. I was expecting a quest to like guide us into the areas, but I will fully accept that maybe we're going to have to find them on our own. Let's go have a quick look. How do we get there, do you reckon? I reckon down here. Let's go to um, Rowley's Way. Or in the episode, we're going to have a quick look. Where do we want to go? We want to go this way. Behind me. And hope we can actually get through. Oh god, I can't see anything. Oh gee, we're fine. I wonder what the biome's going to be. Oh, oh, bloody hell. Oh. Oh well. Oh. Death, apparently. It's the death biome. Oh, there's another ship. I've, why, I'm getting bad feelings about this place. Do you know Subnautica? <laughs> it reminds me of the Barons in, in Subnautica. That the, the bit around the ship where it's full of Leviathans. I don't know. I feel like with this many bones, only bad things can live here. Or this is where everything goes to die. It's Hideaway. No, no, it's not Hideaway. The Gant Pole. That's the place in Sunless Seas. But we've definitely found another ship. But I'd like to find the cartographer's balloon before we do anything else. I don't see it, obviously. I guess the smartest way would be to find a high place and see if we can see it. But first looks... You don't look too good, does it? I do have a pair of binoculars, don't I? Well, I guess what I will do is I will uncover this ship here. I shall save it and then I shall end the episode. And in the start of the next episode, we shall have a look at the names about to come up on the screen, I hope. Wow, that really didn't work out how I was hoping. Oh, and now I'm spinning out of control. Oh, dear. Name of ship, please. Name of ship, please. It makes it so much cooler if I can say the name of the ship. The center of the Brunswick. Yeah, we shall have a look at this place in the next episode. I am going to thank you very much for being here. Please like, subscribe, let me know what you think. Your comments are greatly appreciated. And as always, see you next time. <laughs>